Hello everybody, Jeff Olson here with Danfoss Drives. Today I have a brief video for you that will demonstrate on how to connect an analog 4 to 20 milliamp speed reference signal to a Danfoss VLT drive. Let's take a look at the required steps. Please take a moment now to pause the video to read the safety warnings shown here. Failure to follow these warnings could result in death or serious injury. The first step is to physically connect your 4 to 20 milliamp analog signal wires. Your positive signal wire will connect to analog input 53, which is the default speed reference terminal on the Danfoss VLT drive. Next, we want to connect our zero or signal common wire to terminal 55. Positive wire to analog input 53, signal common to 55. Once the signal wires have been connected, the next step is to change the position of a dip switch behind the keypad. We'll see two switches here to the right of the Danfoss sign. The first switch is for 53 and the next switch is for analog input 54. The switch manipulating 53 is the one of interest since that's the analog input we're connected to. The default position for this switch is to the left or the U notating voltage signals. We need to change the position of this switch to the right or the I for current signals. You do want to exercise caution when changing these switches because they are relatively fragile. Okay, once that change has been made, you can reinstall the keypad and power the drive up. Now there are a few simple parameter changes we need to do to finish this process. First of all, I'm going to show you parameter 315 and that's what's going to define the reference source on this drive. We'll see that it is set to analog input 53 as I described previously. Now we need to go to the parameters and scale analog input 53 to match our control signal. We'll do this in main menu group 6, analog in and out. I'm going to go to group 6-1, analog input 53, and here we find the scaling parameters. First we see parameter 612, terminal 53 low current. This is the low milliamp current signal. By default, it's set to 4 milliamps. We can change this to zero here if necessary. The next parameter down, 613, will set the terminal 53 high current range. Currently, that's set to 20 milliamps, and that's correct. The next parameter down, 614, is my terminal 53 low reference value. This is the speed that will correspond with the low milliamp signal of 4 milliamps. So 4 milliamps represents 0 hertz in this example. And down to the next parameter will be my terminal 53 high reference value, set to 60 hertz. So the scaling of input, analog input 53 as set here, 4 milliamps represents 0 speed, 20 milliamps represents 60 hertz. Let's go ahead and press the status key so we can see what's happening and I'm going to give this drive a start command. This number right here is the raw electrical signal on analog 53 so we see we have nearly a 20 milliamp signal and the drive is ramping toward full speed. As that signal changes, the drive follows that signal proportionally. So 12 milliamps should be roughly 50% speed here or 30 hertz. and all the way across the board. So, that's how to connect an analog speed signal to a Danfoss VLT drive. Hopefully this video was helpful and thanks for watching. Thank you for viewing. We hope this information has been helpful. Danfoss drives can provide additional technical support, parts information, or repair services options by contacting us through one of the following methods. For immediate access to customer service or a technical support expert in North America, call one 888-DANFOSS or 1-888-326-3677 or contact us through email. For technical support, the email address is drives.ts.na at danfoss.com. For customer service, the email address is drives.cs.na at danfoss.com. For after-sales service, the email address is drives.ts.service.na at danfoss.com. Additional information is also available on our website at www.danfossdrives.com. 
For contact information in areas outside of North America, please visit our global website at www.danfoss.com. Thanks again.